So if you are thinking between the two, I would say... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiana. If you're new here, I do content related to fashion specifically for petite ladies like myself. Um, however, today we have a little unboxing as you can see in my title. It is the Louis Vuitton vanity chain pouch. It is so popular right now and I'm so glad to be able to get my hands on one of these. So let's unbox together, shall we? All right, so I kind of took a peek yesterday because I couldn't wait. Um, but here's the box. And okay, what is the best way to do this? Okay, that's the receipt. Uh, so this is the dust bag. We can just... Alright! Ta-da! It is so cute. Look at this. It's the monogram and also the, um, what is it called? Reverse monogram on top and bottom. It has this little lock right here um, and the key in here. But the thing is, this lock doesn't really do anything at all. It's just for decoration only. So, but it's still very, very adorable to have the lock. I like it. So, all right, what else? Um, so I'm gonna do this to kind of like put the lock back inside. Okay. Alright, let's open. Alright, I think the one thing I noticed that I don't like about it already, you can see how much I I can see the struggle to like open it because it's only half like a one zipper one way. So it's kind of need like two hands to open. So yeah. This and then when you open it, it comes with the leather strap. Okay and chain oh this is gorgeous this, it's giving chanel okay and oh what is this i don't know what it is and this bag is made in italy okay it doesn't have anything else inside it doesn't have like additional pocket or anything it's just um this what do you call this um micro i forgot what it's called <laughs> um, okay, so it's a little challenging to like open and close as you can see you do have to use both hands So I think that's the con of this bag. Wow, it's, it's actually really hard Okay, so there it is All right, and I'm going to attach the strap Oh, she's cute. <laughs> All right, and we're going to open this up. I believe that this one is adjustable, so yeah. And of course, personally, I can wear it like this because my wrist is really, really small. So it does fit, as you can tell. My wrist is tiny, so it does go through pretty comfortably for me. But if you have a bigger wrist, then it might be pretty uncomfortable. So yeah, I actually like it like this. And my top handle is super cute too. I think, what do I think about this bag? I think it is really pretty. I think it is a very, um, what do you call it? It's a very ladylike kind of bag. It's, it's adorable, it's feminine, it's, it's cute. But I don't know if it's worth, um, how much is it, $2,600 before tax? So for that, I'm not sure if you want to put that money towards this bag. Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth that much, but it's really your preference, your money. Um, for me, it's still TBD whether or not I will keep this. Um, 
but if you like the style um, I have a recommendation for you from Zara and I also have this, that bag here all right so this is another bag that I want to show you this is pretty much the same as this side by side they're like the same size and the thing about the Zara bag that I like better it is the two zipper function and it's a lot more sturdy built so you see it's solid it's, it has structure to it so you can open it easily like that this is the inside this one is only $50 and it is this like if I want to say it's canvas kind of thing canvas or linen I don't think it's linen but it's some sort of cotton canvas um, I think this one is definitely a keeper for me um, it's not too much monogram going on it is sleek it is cute and the top handle it is a lot bigger so I'm pretty sure it would fit a lot of people's wrists to go through as a top handle or like combing it like this um, the only thing it doesn't have is the is this um, leather chain uh, strap but that's no big deal really so I love this bag if you are like on the fence like whether you should get this bag or not I would say try this one first and see how you like the style um, I don't think you would regret getting this from Zara it's very affordable um, compared to this one so um, but yeah but if you do love um, Louis Vuitton because it is the quality of this is amazing it is it is really nice and of course you're buying the brand as well so you know in a way they are similar but also very different bags so it's up to you um however on today's video oops, however in today's video i also want to show you another bag because a lot of people i feel like if you are like me and you're into like smaller bags slg kind of rum you probably have heard of the mini bum bag so i have the mini bum bag as well so this is the mini bum bag inside and if if i were to let me play all my notification first <laughs> uh, so if i were to put my 14 pro max inside of this with the case it is not as easy it has to go kind of like horizontally like that um so it's, it's a little tougher to get it in and out with the case without the case it's very easy so that is one thing that i didn't like about this bag but if you have a smaller iphone you should not have a problem with this it's adorable it's compact you can wear it as like a shoulder bag and also like a strap it seems to be the theme for louis vuitton lately for all of their slg uh so yeah i absolutely love this bag and it is cheaper than the chain pouch so if you are thinking between the two i would say for me i would probably get this one um this one is a few hundred dollars cheaper this one can fit my phone just like that it can fit a lot so i don't have anything around me but yeah it can fit a lot of stuff i, I really don't have anything around me <laughs> It can fit a lot, as you could see. See? And let's try to close it again. It's not the easiest I could told you. Yeah, I feel like you have to like put it on a surface and try to close it. And <laughs> seriously. The zipper itself is pretty smooth, but it's just the way the back structure it makes it very hard to close all right so my final thought about this bag i don't think it's worth the price but i love the versatility of the ways you can carry this bag top handle shoulder bag and crossbody um i love that if you are short there are a lot of different um uh, length that you can adjust it to 
So that is a huge plus for me. And also I love the fact that I can also wear this bag like this. I feel like it's made for me because my wrist is tiny. And summer is coming, I think it would look great with like a lot of dresses. So I'm excited for that. And yeah, I probably will keep you guys posted if I'm keeping this bag or not. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.